Welcome to Declassifying the Paranormal. Here we reveal the secrets that sinister organizations attempt to conceal from the world, objects and entities that could shake the very foundations of what we think is, and is not, possible. Today we have secured documents belonging to the SCP Foundation, and will reveal to you the nature of SCP-6037. From Administrator at Site01.scp.int to Council underscore new group. Subject, the truth. Date, the 10th of January 2008. Thought you'd like to know what happened. Office of the Administrator. Secure, contain, protect. Item number, SCP-6037. Object class, safe. Special Containment Procedures SCP-6037 is to be housed in a standard humanoid containment chamber at Site-17. No further containment procedures have been deemed necessary at this time. Description SCP-6037 is a middle-aged human male of Irish-American descent. SCP-6037's primary anomalous property appears to render it invulnerable to numerous forms of injury disease, and aging, although whether SCP-6037 is entirely impervious to these ailments or merely resistant to them remains unclear. SCP-6037 claims to have acquired its anomalous properties through an extensive thaumaturgic ritual involving consuming 138 fermented lima beans a day, bathing in the blood of a blind coyote, and, day to expunged. Investigation of these claims is ongoing. SCP-6037 first came to the attention of Foundation personnel in Seattle, Washington, following reports of a local derelict falling from the roof of a seven-story apartment building and emerging unscathed. Upon confirmation of its anomalous abilities, SCP-6037 was detained and transported to Site-17 for questioning. A transcript of this interview, conducted by Dr. Philip Grant, has been attached to this file below. Addendum 1, First Interview Date, the 16th of September 2008 Objective, ascertain the source of SCP-6037's anomalous properties. Begin log. I always knew this would happen. What do you mean? Nothing. Just some black-suited government bastard swooping in and putting me in a place like this. So what next, Doc? You wanna probe my esophagus? Dr. Grant laughs. Well, I can't speak to what they'll do to you. Dr. Grant gestures to the other research staff outside the room. But I'm just here to ask you some questions. Mainly, how you ended up in your current, ah, predicament? You know, I can't say I'm too sure, considering your friend over there gave me enough downers to sedate an elephant for a month. I was referring to your invulnerability. Silence. I sold my soul to Satan. Sarcasm doesn't help either of us. Sarcasm? Sarcasm? I'll show you sarcasm, you condescending sack of shit. SCP-6037 violently gestures to Dr. Grant, before appearing to notice the presence of two security guards outside of the conference room. TCH. Like I'd show some disgruntled lame in my legumes. Here. What? End log. Addendum 2, Second Interview Three days after its first interview, after previously remaining uncooperative, SCP-6037 requested to speak with Dr. Grant in an apparent desire to negotiate. The following meeting was arranged shortly thereafter, and is transcribed verbatim. Date, the 21st of September 2008 Begin log. 
I understand you wish to cooperate. You really want to know my secret? Dr. Grant chuckles. If that's how you'd like to put it. Then fine. But I have some conditions. Which would be? Getting to see the sun for more than five minutes a day would be nice. Dr. Grant sighs. If you are unsatisfied with the accommodations you've been provided, I will put in a request with. You call a lightless metal cell accommodations? Silence. I'll see what I can do. Good. Now for my end. Got a pen? Four hours of extraneous dialogue removed. 327 of them, to be exact. And it has to be in one sitting. Is that before or after the radish stems? It doesn't matter, as long as you soaked it in lamb's blood for exactly six hours. But make sure not to boil them for too long, or you'll have to start from scratch. Dr. Grant appears to write something down. Is that everything? Yup. And this won't carry any unanticipated side effects? Besides getting beaten up and abducted? No. Not that I know of. Dr. Grant stands up and folds the papers in front of him. Thank you, SCP-6037. Your cooperation has been duly noted. Expect changes in the weeks to come. End log. Ogai, excellent work, Dr. Grant. Please submit yourself to your nearest Human Resources Office for voluntary amnestization. We'll take it from here. Dash data expunged. Addendum 3, data expunged. Begin log. Glad to be done with this mess. Yeah, seven barrels of carp? Ridiculous. The supplements should stop the worst of it, cyanide poisoning and such. Now we just have to wait. You're all animals. Oh, please. You would have done the same if it weren't for that damn android body. Was IT really necessary to gouge the eyes out before you curdled its liver? We can't afford to cut any corners here. I don't want to muck this up and turn my bones to copper. Whatever. How long will this take, anyway? I think it was. Let me see. The sound of shuffling papers can be heard. Around three hours? Thaumaturgy has never been a very exact science. Or, well, a science. Actually, I think I can feel it kicking in right now. A loud groaning noise can be heard. What was that? 05-6 enters the room, appearing noticeably older than moments earlier. Christ. What the hell happened to you, Jason? Horse, I, I, I. 05 6 bursts into dust. Oh no. Sounds of falling debris, wounds fissuring, and screams can be heard for the next 15 minutes, followed by silence. Guys? Silence. A phone is dialing. Bertrand? Yes? I think we may have a problem. End log. Following this incident, Site 17 staff attempted to consult SCP-6037, but upon entering its containment chamber, were greeted only with a single word crudely etched into a nearby wall. 
suckers. Thank you for tuning in. We hope that you enjoyed this broadcast. If you did, please subscribe, like, and share it around. If you have any particular case files you'd like us to cover in future broadcasts, leave a comment below and we'll get around to it shortly. Tune in again tomorrow for more revelations. Or